Cristo. That sounds like out of war. Finally! We've really been trying to hone in on something here at the studio, which is this idea that we're fans of our fans. Ooh, script writing is so good. It's a really powerful statement because we are only able to make these things because of our fans. It's just all those little things that you do out there, all the, the tweets, the Reddit posts, the videos, the reactions. Thank you, video games, for being my one saving grace. You don't know how sad things have been lately. I'm ready to play, let's go. There's so much positivity that can be had from games. And I think when our team gets that, it just energizes us to want to do even better and put out something that's just magical. This final portion of the interview is like a fan thank you, right? So I want to say uh, on behalf of the studio, on behalf of myself, thank you for playing God of War. I really hope you guys enjoy playing the game as much as I enjoy animating on it. Your passion and just overall excitement of, of these titles keep us going. We know, especially over the last few years, how important our time is and how valuable that is and any time that you that you give to anything that we work on is just we're so grateful for it i know it's kind of a cliche thing to say but we can't do this without you we can't thank you enough for being huge fans of the series we all pour so much of ourselves into this game it's not just a job for us and knowing that there's an audience out there that supports us and gives so much of themselves right back to us it makes the hard work so much easier. Your enthusiasm is felt by me and the team every single day. We have a big team, we have big goals, we have a high quality bar. And every day I can take a moment and bring up some YouTube videos and I see the excitement from you all and it drives me forward. Those moments when I started to feel a little bit low, I would go look to social media and Twitter, Facebook, whatever, and just kind of start seeing all the excitement out there, how people could not wait for this game, and it would renew my energy in ways that I never thought possible. Every now and then, game development gets really hard, as I've said, and as you probably know, and I'll go outside and I'll be wearing my God of War shirt uh, or my God of War jacket, and somebody will be like, oh my gosh, is that God of War? I can't wait for Ragnarok. And a great conversation is sparked and it really is the fuel that I need to keep going because knowing that people are truly excited for this game is really cool. For four years uh, after the release of the last game that these characters still resonate with you and you want to see more of it, it really inspires us to try and deliver to you something that is meaningful but also is just fun as hell to play. To see every time we post some news or there's a bit of fandom out there and just the reaction on social media and amongst the community, it kept us going and it certainly kept me going to want to continue to finish this game out and make it the best game. I have the great privilege of being able to share your works and your words with the team here. I get to see you know, the smiles on their faces once they see some of your fan art, the cosplays and incredible works that you guys have put together. It really reminds me how incredibly special the God of War community is. We see your tweets, we see your fan art, we see your reaction videos, and those are the things that keeps us going. And I hope when you play this game, you feel the thought and the care and the passion and the blood and the sweat that was poured into this game. When I've had a long day, the best pick me up, I'll pop on one of those YouTube videos and just see the enthusiasm and love that you all have for the characters and it just lifts me up and keeps me going. I can't thank you enough. Uh, I love you. I know this been, it's been a long time coming, but you are really what keeps us going, especially through the end of this project. To all the fans out there, thank you for playing. Thank you for listening. And thank you for covering my themes on YouTube. Keep them coming. Dude, there's people like heavy metal and like cello and flute, you know, like a bunch of stuff.
I personally love watching all the Let's Plays and reaction videos. Like, we all watch them and share them around the office. Just hearing about how much they enjoyed God of War 2018 and how excited they are for Ragnarok, seeing the different cosplays that they've been doing, the different fan arts, and just hearing people buzz and talk about what's going to be happening in this next game has really kept me going and kept me inspired and, and trying harder to deliver on that. Seeing so many positive energies in the community throughout the fans and that really brings me back to the motivation of keep moving forward and making this game awesome. The outpouring of fan excitement and celebration of the accessibility features motivates us to keep on going. It just shows how wide-reaching accessibility is, and this game will now make it so a ton of new players can pick up a Leviathan Axe for the first time and feel what it means to be a god of war. And that's phenomenal. What makes my job rewarding is being able to make something that so many people feel a connection to. This looks so good! I, you know, I'm not a big poster on social media, but I love reading all of your stories and seeing how you're able to feel a connection to the characters and the story. That is what gives my job, you know, worth and meaning. So thank you. Before God of War Ragnarok, I was a huge fan of this series myself. And God of War was actually the reason I wanted to pursue a career in character art. So being here, being part of this, and seeing how supportive the fans are, and how great of a community God of War has nurtured, it makes it all, you know, great impact for us, and very, very motivating for all of us as game developers. It's seeing the reactions of people as they experience this journey with us that really keeps us going. There's a lot of excitement that we felt uh, throughout the entire development process. And while it was long, a lot of the fans, their excitement kept us going. So thank you for helping us be motivated to see it to the end. Damn! No! Oh my god! We're back to Helheim? بنشكرهم على اخلاصهم للي فات واستعدوا لحاجات كتير قوي ومفاجات كتير قوي في الاصدار الجديد بريا نوشوكم كيمي تاتشيني كانشا سرو اريغاتو thank you all for your support and excitement uh, surrounding God of War Ragnarok i can't wait for you to play the game and hear the music score Muchas gracias a todos mis amigos de Latinoamérica y de España y de todos los lugares donde se habla español. Eh, les agradezco mucho por ser eh, aficionados de God of War y, y es, estoy muy contento de que ya puedan jugar el juego. Ok, gracias. To the fans, uh, I just want to give a big thank you for your support and enthusiasm for this game and this franchise. I really hope that you love what we've crafted for you. I'm gonna cry. Here. I never take for granted how much you all invest in in us, in our story, in our characters. And I'm incredibly thankful that you turn out to play this game and talk about it. And just thank you. I appreciate it. Like the, the thing I've been telling the team the whole time is that we're kind of building a blanket. You know, I always thought back to, to my childhood when I would play games. I had these, these moments, these really, really strong moments that I remember like gaming. And they were usually when something like bad happened or you just needed kind of escape from what the world was giving you at the time. And it always felt like, it, you know, you're curling up with a blanket and like watching a good movie or listening to a record or a book or something like that. And I really wanted the team to get behind this concept of like, we're building a blanket for you all to like curl up with us, go on this adventure and just like have a good time with us, you know, be entertained and, you know, maybe think about a couple things while we're in there, you know, like we'd like to have those heartfelt stories that we all go through and it's just like, make it very relatable. Our fans are everything, like we can't do it without you. So we wanted to make something that was memorable in that way. I just wanted to, to thank all of you for taking the time out of your days to let us know how you feel and have felt about this extraordinary journey. Thank you. To all the fans out there that support us here at uh, Santa Monica, thank you so much. Thank you so much for going on these adventures with us. Obrigado a todos vocês. 
que jogaram esse game. Chokra. As they say in Old Norse, talk. Obrigado. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Can't thank you enough. Thank you for hyping me up when I need it the most. Thank you. Thank you.